okay, this is a time to step out of the framework. And that means to exit the entire paradigm. Not just the bad, but the seeming good as well. Because everything right now is generating fear. When you hear about COVID as something that exists as a threat and a virus and it's everywhere amongst us but it's hidden and invisible it incites a sense of terror within when you hear the opposite that covid actually doesn't exist that it's um, a hoax creation of the illuminati to control humanity, to vaccinate, and basically slowly kill the human race, it incites terror. And the extent to which you understand that fear is the true enemy, then you will know that stepping out of the framework altogether is the only answer it's the place of power any of the narratives that bring about a sense of terror are to be turned away from the only narrative is the unnarrative the only um, place to dwell right now is in a state of fearlessness, a state of almost like no thought, not trying to analyze or imagine or think about the different horrifying sides of this story humanity right now the demon side and the savior side because where we can find a way out where we can exit only comes through A state of no fear otherwise we continue to be locked in to a framework that is detrimental to our salvation so when you say a state of no fear do you mean, are you saying, how can we achieve that? Is it by staying fully immersed in the present and the now, what is going on now, that you don't then project yourself into future fears or anxieties or what ifs that are being thrown by, at us by the media and the alternative media simultaneously? Are you suggesting that we just stay present in the beauty of the now? Or are you saying we should turn away? When you say turn away, where, where do we turn to? Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's good to perhaps know the different sides. I mean, now that we've been introduced to the information or misinformation from the mainstream media about a fake disease that we all have to be um, extra vigilant about against each other, pushing each other away, covering our own faces and um, all kinds of bizarre acts of so-called safety and protection. Because we've already been introduced, it's good to know the other side, where people are saying that an elite group of evil people are creating a disease, creating a conflict, a crisis, a chaos, 
so that they can further crack down on human rights, on civil rights, on basic inalienable rights of you know, the freedom to live on this earth. It's good to have both. It's, it's certainly not good to just follow the media mainstream and think their thoughts and their fear. So when you hear the other side, it helps you to get a perspective on this falsehood. But the other side is also equally um, ter terrifying because you uh, wanna now analyze and understand and imagine of what kind of demons and where they are and what their goals um, are to make up something like this and to shut everything down to this extent. But once you get both sides, you have to turn away from all of it. You have to step out of the framework. That is the only uh, way to experience the, the truth, the reality, which is that there, that fear is the only virus. Yeah, but even so, I mean, fear is the only obstacle. Like, not let's not even give it a power to be a virus or to be a um, to be um, an enemy. Fear is a natural uprising of the human body mm. when it's faced with a direct challenge. So it's actually a blessing mm -hmm. and it should we should rename it. It should be called something like um, love in action or love on purpose or um, you know loving right. So when is fear action. good? Fear renamed loving right action works very well for human beings when they're in a situation and they have a direct threat. threat. But I really don't feel that that's called fear. I feel like that's something else and it's been misconstrued as fear. That's a survival mechanism that we have on this earth in these bodies to if we come up against something that needs extra energy to mm. rectify we have that and it's not an energy we use in a normal every um, day yeah but it's something that comes that gives us a push a drive to Adrenaline. move through that obstacle and move on and then. move and continue on our way but i think at the highest the 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 fearless state makes everything that one would encounter a peaceful exchange so um what we what we are meant to do with fear-based responses is to learn how to transcend um states of anxiety and worry to learn how to move above them and to look at every situation every circumstance every encounter as an opportunity to love mm. even if a lion 